Hi, it's artist Corey Bennett Anderson, an instructor at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art. And today I'm showing you how to make something out of nothing at home in your own studio. So today I'll show you that we have some just found cardboard that we've gotten from our recycling bin couple magazines that we found lying around and we're going to show you how you can use those to create a little bit of something new. Kind of start ripping it up, finding the spots that you really like. Maybe you're looking for a little green, maybe you're looking for a little number or some letters or something like that. I like this little bit of yellow right here. That's my favorite. Then after a while, we got a lot. What do we got here? Looks like a little Chicago, Illinois. We've got a little stripes from an old soda can cardboard. Looks like we got a fairy schedule here. I think it's important to try to get out of your comfort zone and try some new things. Some people like to use sketchbooks to keep their thoughts and ideas. I myself use found paper and cardboard squares to create inspiring backgrounds, inspiring collages. Here's one that I've used a crossword puzzle and some positive sayings. And maybe you recognize that guy. And after doing so, I've been collecting these in my studio, kind of as inspirational biscuits. I've got a ton. Here's one with a little colorful palette, some flowers that I found in a flower magazine. Here's one that I found a fish on a fish box. <laughs> I find that in the studio, sometimes writing your ideas down can be very helpful in the future to look back on. And rather than using your conventional sketchbook, I've decided to make a cardboard biscuit. Here's another example of a large cardboard box that I've found and I've collaged all kinds of found materials onto this. And hey look, it's almost ready to hang. In this piece I've decided to create a collage using some of my favorite numbers, colors that I've found from magazines and other articles lying around, organic foods. I always like to find lifting words that maybe I can use later on in my art, like please and recycle and fresh. Oh, hey, look, there we are on the map. And here's an old wine holder that I've decorated with some inspiring Northwest quotes and inspiration that I'll use to put my paintbrushes in. Well, thanks for watching. Feel free to share anything inspired from this video. And until next time, it's art in action.